Let's give the perfume to uh, Zhongli. I didn't like that perfume quest. That was annoying. We brought the perfumes, Mr. Zhongli. Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liyue, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Three sets, and not one less. <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form, and... <sighs> Let's hope the chi Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. I mean, both things are kind of true, what I'm thinking right now. I, but I do want to see the, the body. So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? At present. A friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the Cleansing Bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time? <sighs> All things must change. Uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. I just thought it a great shame that so many of these glazed lilies have wilted. What happened to them? Back in my day, people said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully but if they heard too much wild gossip or slander they would quickly wither away so that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lila? yes the rumors of rex lapis's death are no small matter they are everywhere some say it was a fatui plot Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spark and the fire will consume us all. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you have something to say, youngster? Borrow something? Oh, you've come to borrow the cleansing bell, yes? Apart from that, I don't have anything of value that you youngsters might want. But it was not originally mine, either. That trinket used to belong to a friend of mine. I was a vain beauty when I was young, and I would pester him for that bell all the time. He could not dissuade me, and so he gave it to me. But he said that if someone should come to borrow it, I must not be loath to give it away. 
It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um, we can help with chores if you have any, too. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Whoa, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's gotta be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. How does that work? was like that. It must be a very expensive bell, right, Granny? Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find it. This Granny is so weird. What does she mean her whole household is in here? Is she playing with us? Oh, this must be like a Alice in Wonderland type thing. Okay. Oh, get off the table, Victor. Don't be that rude. Oh, this is awesome! We're inside the teapot! <laughs> That's cool. Huh? Where are we? Okay, I what do... No, 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 I don't want to leave the domain! Can I not switch? Youngsters, Shit. this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. I don't have Whoa. the right people equipped. That sounds like Granny's voice! No! Ow! Fuck you, spider! Ow! Oh my- Ow! God damn it. <laughs> oh dear. So many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. I can't- Sorry to trouble you children. Please help an old lady clean up. Oh, come on, Bennett. You gotta do this for me. Victor can't do it. Dang it, I didn't bring Amber. I really hope I don't need her for something. Because I don't want to have to quit this. Everybody stand back. Oh my god! There we go. Get off the edge! Oh, you... So she is she an adeptus? Is that what they're called when they can do these types of things? When they live in stuff like this? Her house is nice, I'll say that. I love these places. There's a rock guy over here. Did you notice? The cobwebs were made of elemental energy. Are they? How long has it been since Granny last swept this place? Uh-oh. I don't exactly have the right thing to fight this guy. I must leave no stone unturned. Hopefully Noel can do it. Yeah. Yeah. She 
He's just not very strong. I think I can knock him off the edge. Oh, good. Nope. Go. Goodbye. Die. Freaking die. Where'd you go? Did he die? Okay, he died. Whee! Where am I going? You know, was such a special teapot and the cleansing bell? Do you think this old granny could also be an adeptus? No! no! Oh my god! I just freaking said that. Are you really slow? No, she's not adeptus. She just has this gigantic magical place in the teapot. Come on! Oh God! More and more that she's an Shut the! I'm on. I mean, she probably has a reason. I electro charge that. I ooh, that's not good. There's a bomb here. Oop. There we go. <laughs> Come here. Oh my god. Here. I am electro charged. This is not good. Get him, Kaya. Thank you. What is hitting me? Oh, there's a spider up there. It's a spider! Kill it! I can't kill it. Okay. I'm just gonna go set all these off right now. Because if I don't, I will accidentally run into them and blow myself up. Oop, didn't set that one up. Alright. <laughs> Can't. These are all ice dudes, right? No, just one is an ice dude. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. Adventure time! Oh my god, no! Dang. She is not great with these elements. Not very good. do something better. I need to do something better. Get rid of one of them. Something. Bennett. There, that'll help. Alright, we got rid of one. Good job. Let's light it up. There we go. Bennett is not bad. His um I wanna say his level's a little low. How many levels does this team and his weapon is not great, which is why he takes a little bit nice while. But I think once I get him team. powered up, he will be awesome. Or at least we wouldn't have to camp outside. Hit that. Nope. 
think I'm missing anything. I think we just have to go follow the path. Yay, we made it. Look at this pretty place. Oh, look at that. There it is. Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. I did find it. Oh, now, let me see. How did this opening work again? Oh, dear. All right, that'll do. Is there something down Come here? Come on out now, children. What if I don't want to? Or is that the... No, this is not the way I came up. I don't see anything down there, though. She's like, get out of my teapot. Oh my god, I'm stuck. I guess we'll just leave. We, all we needed was the bell. In and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. And deftus. Oh, I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child. Surely you already understand. Ah, Paimon kind of knows what you mean. But is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Neela Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but... Ignore the right of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Oh? Well, if it came to that... <laughs> They would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but... You can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. She knows. She knows it's Zhang Li. Oh, all right, where, where are we going? Put the perfume and the cleansing bell in place. Oh, I have to go back to the to this thing. I just noticed that that was there. That's kind of neat. Oh, he's over here. That guy's still there. Where am I putting it? Am I just giving it to you? I guess I'm just giving it to him. Indeed. This is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Are you also an adeptus? <laughs> Should we ask him that? Let's ask him that. An adeptus. That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes. That old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still... Her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. 
When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought that said kittens, and I was about to say, oh, we get to purchase kittens. <laughs> Ooh, Paimon loves kites. Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. I mean, he totally ignored my question about being an adeptus. I asked him. He just kind of looked at me like I was crazy. I'm not crazy. Alright, we gotta go buy kites? I know where the kite lady is. Uh, it's down over there somewhere. Oh! I didn't jump right. I didn't jump right. I didn't jump right again. What's, what's the problem here? Okay. There we go. Here we go. Kites. Look at this. Look at this one. Ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Longsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well-versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well. But he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else. But there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient and you can also find them in the Golden House. Paimon's heard that name before! Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon wants. <sighs> yes. These details are masterfully done. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen. I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... Well, allow me. <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. 
He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How have he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The rite of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think we've learned that hmm. one. Seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. 